A crow conundrum causing quite a mess in downtown Sacramento. The wild birds take over at night. It's a sight to see, really, as they swarm several blocks around City Hall. But some say they're tired of dodging the droppings, and we're talking lots of droppings. Yeah, we wanted to know if anything is being done to deal with all of these crows. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is getting answers. I you can see. If you brave a walk downtown, well, don't look up. You just gotta, you know, dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You just walk on it and you hope that it's below you and not above. Like clockwork, the sun goes down and the crows come out. You see a lot of birds just pooping everywhere. All on the meters. They're everywhere. Yeah, they've um, they pecked my hair. Well, I, I thought maybe nesting. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I know I'm not getting thin back there. I hope not. <laughs> you look like you have the secret to it because you're on this side of the street. Because I got tired going to the um, to the car wash, man. <laughs> They're really bad, man. Something has to be done about it quickly. But can something be done about thousands of wild birds? We're getting answers from the Downtown Sacramento Partnership. They actually hired skilled falconers to move the crows out of downtown safely. Yeah, we're bringing in trained predators, which are hawks and falcons, to scare the crows out of a predetermined area in downtown Sacramento. Adam Boz is a falconer with Integrated Avian Solutions. Three to four nights a week, they guide the birds to nearby parks. A before and after pick shows how it keeps the sidewalks clean, something that otherwise is pretty pricey. Pressure washing costs at least $150,000 a year, something paid for in part by downtown property owners. But they're definitely a nuisance, and they can contain bacteria and diseases, so it is best to use falconry to push the birds out of the core downtown area. And, and basically all this stuff then won't happen with right. the work you're doing. Yeah. Solving a crow conundrum so their droppings don't end up on you. It doesn't bother me very much, no. It's not my living room, you know, it's outside. I've been pooped on many times. <laughs> I'm used to it. Oh, man. All right, so there is a little bit of good news here. Marley reminds us that the crows are here only during the winter months.